you can see there's water in the swell behind me. It's been a fairly dry spring so far, but uh, the last two days have been a pretty major rain event. And actually we've got everything nicely filled. Everything's nicely saturated. So it's the perfect time to show you all the swells and the ponds doing all their thing while they've actually got water in. Behind me, that barn doesn't belong to us, but we do take the water that comes off the roof, which is a useful resource. And previously, that strip of food forest down there was pretty much marshy, damp, wet conditions. So what we've done, I'll show you. So there's the barn and below it, we've got this smallest swale. And the bottom of that swale is four inches higher than the bottom of that swale. And there's a pipe runs underneath the track that, can, that uh, connects the two. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk along and I'll switch this off and I'll cut it back in when we get to the other end. So at this end, you can see there's the pipe monk. And you see that the water has filled up to just below that lip there. In fact, up until about an hour ago, water was still dribbling out of that end. Now, what I can do in winter is I can set that monk, twist it down, so this entire swale won't hold on to water, won't infiltrate it into the berm and grow trees and shrubs, but it'll just take that water away out through this pipe and dump it into this trench here. And this little retention basin has got two monks fitted. And you can see the water is virtually up to the lip of that blue pipe. So while it was raining yesterday, water will have been gently overspilling all around the perimeter of that down into that pipe. Whereas that pipe there you can see is about an inch above the level of the water. So it's set to prioritise water running down there rather than through there and replenishing the pond. So rather than all the water coming off the barn roof behind me going into the pond, I can prioritise it going down that pipe. When it goes through that pipe, it runs out into the next swale down. So because I've got this swale full of water, I can actually show you everything working. So if I twist that down, you can see water's running out. It runs out through there, fills this basin, which I've recently filled with rock, um, and we'll add more stone to the top of it. The idea is to give more protection, more habitat for uh, amphibians. And you can see that just down in there, there's water actually trickling down now. And that water will come out into the next retention basin, which is on this swale here. So you can see water's just starting to run out of that. And because this monk is set down, you can see the water's just trickling down out of that pipe. But if I twisted that monk up, I could back flood up this whole swale. This is the most recent swale. This is the hand dug swale. I'll do a little link. And uh, But yeah, this was given a fair chunk of water last time it rained. And so that's doing fine. Doesn't need any more just at the minute. So we've prioritised for water to run. See, that's really starting to come through now. So that water will all run down through that pipe and away down to, let me just show you. This is the middle swale. You can see water has just started to run out of that pipe there and that will flood this whole swale all the way along and bring it up nice and easy, nice and passive and soak into the berm on the downhill side. Uh, you can see it's got some willow on, it's not a densely planted swale this one. Now this swale currently has an emergency spillway at the other end but it doesn't have a monk fitted yet so all of this water is going to sit in here and I haven't got the option so far of draining that water away but I'm going to. There's going to be from about here-ish there's going to be a pipe monk heading out in that direction. There's going to be a large pond in there with another monk fitted to drain into that swale there, which is the main willow swale. But so let's say today I didn't want, say it's the middle of winter and uh, I didn't want to water the swales. What if instead I decided I wanted to hang on to that water by putting it into a pond rather than a swale? Right, you can see there, a major rain event. You can see that's exactly how it's meant to work. But what I can do, and bear in mind, 
I think you saw it, I only dropped that just a very little bit. So this soil itself holds thousands and thousands of litres of water. But what I can do instead, if I come around here, is all I need to do is twist this monk instead. And now, instead of running down that blue pipe, you can hear that easing off. All that water instead is going to run down that pipe there. You can just hear it starting to slow on the blue. And that's about to stop. Water running out of there, and that's running out from the other end of that pipe down in here. And it'll fill this retention basin here. And then very steadily, it'll drip off that little spillway there and fill this whole pond here. And then it'll overspill from there down into the main pond beyond that boom. And that'll hold weeks of rain. Um, I've only ever had seen it filled twice in the whole of the winter. And you can see here, the water now is completely stopped running through the blue pipe. So that's exactly as it's meant to work. And this will take, you know, the more water runs in from that pipe, the, you can take a significant flow with this pipe, never in danger of being overwhelmed. But if, for example, that got full and then this pipe here blocked for whatever reason with uh, bits of, um, you know, straw, grass, and so on, all ending up in there, instead of building up and up and up and then overspilling the swale itself and causing erosion, the section here is a level sill spillway made of compressed clay and it'll evenly over the whole structure slowly seep downhill and you can see it's only recently been overseeded and stuff's just starting to come in now but by the end of the season you won't see any clay here this will all be clover and grass and yeah that is exactly how an adjustable swale and pond system works